essentials. So let's uh, let's fire away. And let's, so first thing we need to do is go to Google.co.uk, and there it is. It's ready and waiting for us. And the first thing we're going to need to do is start typing it in. Microsoft. Well, actually, before I've even typed it in, Google has predicted what I'm going to type in. It's offered me a lot of selections, and as you can see, one of them is Microsoft security essentials that's the one we want and straight away it takes us to that listing and as you can see here it's number one in the listing and it's a uh, slightly different colors from the others due to the fact that I have been there before so I'll just click on that and it should take me to Microsoft security page and we can see straight away in the center of the page is a, a large download now button and we just want to click on that okay it's asking us what uh, language uh, we want uh, it's English in this case and the operating system that we're downloading it for and I'm downloading it for Windows 7 32-bit version if you're not sure if it's 32-bit or 64-bit I would always go for the 32-bit version and um, you should or shouldn't have any problems there whatsoever so just click on that okay and it's offered me to download this and to save this file yes I want that so save file okay and as you can see it's downloading here and that will the length of time it takes to download will depend on your speed of the internet. Uh, mine tends to go up and down during the day like anyone else's. That uh, wasn't too bad. Uh, seven megabytes. So we just double click on this now, and we want this to run. So I'm just going to click run. Now, some people when you download it, depending what internet browser you use, it may download it to your desktop or you may have a designated folder that you save it to you just need to go to the file and find it in this case using Firefox it actually brings up a download box and offers me all my latest downloads I've only got one download in there at the moment uh, and again I just double clicked on it to, to activate it and it's now offering me a security question do I want to run or cancel it well I know what it is and I want it to run so I'm going to click on run Okay, and it's just offering me a load of, uh, you know, uh, chat really regarding about the protection, what it's offering, and it's also going to ask me to obviously the terms and conditions of use, and uh, I'll just keep going through, just clicking next, 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 and then I'll just click install, and that's it. It's starting to install now, and this normally takes about one to two minutes to actually go for the installation itself. Okay, so it's installed and what it's offering me now is to scan my computer for potential threats after getting the latest updates and what this basically means the latest updates is your antivirus and spyware program is now installed what it does every now and then it goes and gets something a file called a definition file this file tells the antivirus or spyware software what files to look out for what potential threats to look out look out for and this could be updated daily or monthly or weekly depending on the sort of threats that are, are, are coming out on the internet and uh, so yes we want to keep that ticked and we just click finish okay so at the moment you can see it's checking for uh, an update and it's just searching the internet and depending on when you last updated yours or depending on the actual version of the download will depend on whether or not it needs an update or not okay let's just download in I love it when it just jumps 90% on the bar uh, you know in about 10 seconds and then the last 10% takes about you know five times as long as that that's a classic uh, Microsoft uh, time in there Okay, another little tip is always, you know, if you're just doodling about, which we are in this case, down the bottom here was a, a, a did you know advice, which is always worth a, a look. Okay, now that's downloaded the definition file, it's just going now and scanning all my files. I'm going to click, click cancel, but obviously you want to let this run. And uh, for most people, this is all you're going to be needing to do. That's it. Your antivirus is installed. It's up to date. Your spyware is installed. It's all in the same program and it's all updated. You won't ever need to pay for this. It's free. It's from Microsoft. It's not really 
that publicly made aware I imagine possibly just due to obviously uh, competition rules and so on uh, obviously they had a lot of trouble with Internet Explorer sticking it on all their um, uh, uh, Windows disks and more or less forcing everyone to have uh, Internet Explorer um, and really probably for them reasons is that that's why it's not so publicly known but this is one of the best ones out there or in fact uh, what I believe is the best one out there and it covers you for antivirus and spyware so you don't need any other programs and for uh, what I'm saying is for most users that's it because this will automatically when you install it be set up with settings to scan every Sunday and automatically download and update and so on and for the more advanced users you may want to continue watching this video but if you just want an antivirus and spyware software and that's it you know don't worry no hassle uh, you know just just end the video now otherwise uh, if you want a bit more in depth uh, let's go over that okay so I'm just going to close this down now close down the download box and close down my internet yes I do want to quit okay right let's have a look right just let you know your once you've installed it if you ever need to get back into the antivirus spyware software uh, for Windows 7 it's just clicking this little button here and there it is there the little green sort of castle uh, with a flag on top it's green at the moment because I'm protected and it's got the latest definition files and I've also run it uh, quite recently some people it may just be down in the bottom here but literally to get into that I can just double click on that icon and it will bring me into the exact same screen that it left me with and again you normally it normally installs to the desktop as well so you have an icon there and if worse comes to worse you can't find it anywhere obviously you can go to all programs and uh, there you are it's already highlighted for me because I've recently installed it it's there and I can even start typing it there Microsoft let's have a look and it's also found everything that I've got installed from Microsoft and it's predicted you know again that that's probably what I'm looking for so that's all the ways to get to the program however you should just need to click down the bottom right hand corner here and that gets you into it okay and what we're looking at here if, if you sort of been or sent a file or something like that and you feel that your machine is you know that's infected it's got on the fly scanning as well it's going to sort of tell you oh I think you're using something and you know it's a uh, well this is what this real-time protection is it's real-time protection as you download stuff as you browse the internet it checks for viruses and will warn you and offer you clean enough you know to clean that and uh, sometimes you do need a reboot before that will clear uh, if you do feel like someone sent you a file or you know it hasn't gone away or that it may have infected your machine obviously just by coming to the screen you've got the option of a quick or full scan obviously a full scan is going to be the best thing if you're worried or, or quick scan if, you, if you're not too worried you just want to have a quick check check okay we've got the update button here which um, you can just click obviously it's got automatic update but that's going to be set for a scheduled time so most likely every now and then you may want to click update just so that it, you don't have to wait for it to automatically do it and um, you can just tell it right I want it to update now okay and then history tab that just gives you any items that is found recently what is found, the names of them and so on and sometimes it quarantines them like puts them into a folder somewhere where they can't escape from there and until you decide what you want to do with them and sometimes you can allow items as well it will ask you if you want to allow an item you may have a, like a something that you know isn't a virus but it's just unfortunately detecting as a virus never normally the case, I've never known that to be the case um, but you know that that can happen and then you last but not least the settings tab which you can change just the uh, the, the scanning time uh, when you want your machine to scan what type of scan you want it to do I normally have it on quick scan it's got on on the fly real time protection so there's no need to really have a full scan every 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 week or every day whenever you run it and again you've got some other options here which you may just want to go through as long as you read what it actually says you, you're not going to stumble into anything um, that you're going to cause yourself any problems and if you feel like you may cause yourself some problems obviously just don't click on anything just leave it as it is and that's it and again a uh, help file here uh, just in case uh, you want to know anything more more or less this goes over a bit more further uh, again with what we what we've just gone over installing uh, scanning and fixing a problem if you come to it and uh, again that's just by clicking on the help 
help here. So it just really goes through what we've just gone through really, um, but probably a bit more in depth. Any problems, obviously give us a shout, it's not a problem. My website is www.computerrepairkent.co.uk and uh, you know my telephone number's on there and you can contact me as well via my online form and you know I'm more than willing to help as you know and I won't charge anything if it's just a little bit of advice as long as you just remember me that uh, for for when you may have a computer problem and don't worry if you don't live in Kent either I do also offer uh, web support online uh, which means I can connect anywhere in the world. Anyway, that's enough for me. And until the next video, I hope you uh, find that installation fine. Any problems once again, contact me. Cheers.